Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. The conclusion of season 41 for Alliance War uh, is upon us. Rewards have just come in. It is currently 4 p.m. for me when these rewards came in. The season ended a bit weird at a bit of a weird time. So the rewards came in about like 12 hours later than they usually do. Like my plan was to make this video today. I've just kind of been <laughs> sitting around waiting. I did do a little shopping though, which I kind of want to show you guys. Uh, check this out. So got a couple of Funko Pops here. We got a spot, a full size one. I had the mini one, but I had to get the full size one because, I mean, because. So yeah. And then uh, also, this was a new one there. A little Adam Warlock here for Guardians. So yeah, really excited for that movie. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with today's video. So let's uh, scroll through a hundred of these mail. Yes, I know I can clear these mail with the press of a couple of buttons, but I'm not going to <laughs> because I don't know. I like having all that junk mail there. Here we go. So for Loki placed masters, we needed to win the very final war to clinch masters and we did it. The weird thing is, though, this was, like, one of our best seasons ever as an alliance for, like, total death count. Um, and just to put it into perspective, the last time that we, like, the record that we beat, like, our previous best, was when we placed top three. And we beat that, and yet we only just squeaked into Masters. <laughs> it's kind of weird how, how that works. But uh, speaking of war, there's a, there's a match round. Um, and yeah, also, BG3, my battle group this season, actually broke, I think, the record for the lowest amount of deaths in 4 Loki history for one battle group. I think something to that effect. Uh, so really, really proud of our group. We had a lot of donuts this season. We just crushed it. Um, and yeah, I had a, an all right season myself. Nothing, nothing crazy, but didn't die much. So that's good. Did my part. Now we get these wonderful rewards. So what all do we have here? We have some tier five basic. We have some tier five class catalyst selectors, 50,000 six star shards, which is good because I am currently at my highest ever total of six star shards, which is 710,000 currently. So that's gonna jump us up to 7,760,000 shards. We have two Nexus crystal selectors. We're gonna be going for double mutant out of there to try to hunt two female mutants today emma frost and betty bardic captain britain then we have some nice tier 6 basic and tier 3 alpha which we will also be using in this video getting a brand new rank 4 it's going to be a mutant as well could it could maybe even be emma frost if we pulled her who knows and then the biggest ticket item in here two 25 percenters for the tier 6 class catalyst so we're going to be getting those and we're hoping for skill we're gonna take a, a, a quick look at that let's go ahead and claim all those rewards here there we go all right we're gonna go for double mutant nexus crystals i'm missing less than 10 champions in the basic pool right now so um if we could get emma or betty today that would be huge um and it looks like we're pretty low on tech let's uh yeah let's get out some more tech more tech and then a science as well okay there we go all the rewards have been claimed all right let me show you guys the tier six stash first so uh here's what i'm currently working with i have one catalyst in cosmic mutant and tech so that's great uh but they're all like very freshly formed so very low in the fragments otherwise science we just took spot up to rank five this guy right here um so we exhausted all of our science catalysts so you can see we're just fully empty on those and then mystic i've i took absorbing man to rank five it wasn't through the catalyst uh this is just the total amount of mystic fragments i've ever obtained which is pretty sad when I think about it that way. Let's just pretend we got Absorbing Man from the Catalyst, hey? Um, uh, so really, like, the only thing here that I want is skill. You can see that's the only thing that matters. Any other fragments is just, you know, droplets in, in the well. It's not going to do much. But if we pull skill, it's going to form us our second Catalyst. Skill is the next class of my rank 5. I've already, I think I've chosen this champion that excels on offense and defense. Really, really like this champion. 
cannot wait to take him up to rank five and yeah i, I can once i finish 8.2 i'll be able to fully select that last skill catalyst so i really just need one of those 25 percent crystals today to be skill and that would be so huge so let's go ahead and start with that since it is the most important thing for my account right now please skill um anything else it doesn't really matter um i think i i would prefer cosmic um or, or tech or mutants would be all right but science and mystic i'm just so far from anything with those catalysts i would just prefer to not get them let's see first one please skill oh yes 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 okay that's so good and it makes me just want to do like it makes me want to jump right back into 8.2 now oh so because I, I can fully get the three skill cows now dude fantastic fantastic yes it's so nice when things work out like that you know like it's just it's i would take more skill too mystic okay like i said the amount of mystic t6cc on my that that's that's more Mr. T6CC that my account has ever seen previous to this day. That fantastic. Sure, sure. Uh, there's two two Mystic Champs I want to get to rank five now that we have Absorb Man up there, and that's Doom and Rintra. So I'd love it to get both those guys up to rank five. So yeah, Mystic Fragments, awesome. Dude, oh, that's so good. That's so freaking good, man. Yes. Yeah. I'm so happy. All right, excellent. So real quick, let me show you guys the mutant roster in its entirety. So you can see Emma Frost missing, Captain Britain missing. Apart from those, um, Deadpool unique, Goldpool unique, Wolverine maybe in the next featured. Uh, so aside from that, just some dupes. Um, I only have a few unduped mutants. Platinum pool, again, that's unique. So it would be uh, White Magneto, X-Force Deadpool, Psylocke. Old Man Logan or Storm Pyramid X. Any one of those pulls out of these mutant crystals is good. Anything else is pretty bad. Um, it's just going to be useless SIGs or Max SIGs or, or something like that. So let's go ahead and open up those mutant six star Nexus crystals. All right. Personal well, spinner. Man, I'm just so happy we got skill. Like I, I, that's that's the biggest thing. That's an absolute dub. Um, wow, so two Unawakened Champions. Probably the two uh, I wanted the least here. Um, so, like, it's actually a tough choice because I, I don't really want either. So wh which one's better to Awaken here? I don't know. I, I think I'm just going to go Psylocke. Because, um, fun fact, Psylocke actually came out the exact same time as Iceman and Archangel. The three of them came together in one month. Long ago, very long ago, uh, three champ mutant months pretty cool and obviously Psylocke was uh just chilling in Iceman and Archangel's massive shadows and she she's in the shadows of the entire mutant class now <laughs> all right next one though let's see what we got that's good okay that's that's great that's actually one that I I wanted I really did want that awakening that's pretty fire actually I'm a big fan of that pull all right that's good man that's good so still, man, no Emma Frost. Emma Frost, I've always liked her, but she, she just doesn't like me. It took me so long to pull a five-star, and the six-star is just nowhere to be found. Maybe next time I have an opportunity to get an Abyss Nexus, maybe I should target her with Mutant. Because I would like to add her to the roster. Uh, but that Storm Pyramid X dupe is fantastic. Really, really happy with that. That was probably the Mutant that I wanted to awaken the most. Um... Not that there was many, but yeah, so that's that's pretty fire. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a one of the Science Mythic Nexus Crystals. Then we'll open up two regular Mythic Nexus Crystals and see what else I got to open as well. I think we also have one of the Banquet Reskin Crystals. Uh, what is this, all five stars? Uh, I guess we'll just take the Max Sig then. All right. Miles. I'm excited for your next movie, my friend. All right. And yeah, let's open up a couple of these. Oh, yeah, we also have some relics to open as well. Let's go ahead and open these up. Kind of been waiting for uh, this video to open them. So just pop the four-star ones. We will spin the five-star one. 
Any new relic here is is great. Uh, looks like those are all dupes, I think. Okay, that's the first time. It's the first time. And a second second dupe. Okay, I like the the first time dupe, so that's that's great. All right, five star relic. Um, out of here, uh, I think a, a Captain America would be really good. Uh, so I could equip it to my spot, or. Yeah, I think that would be the best. I think that would be the best. Ooh, that's a dupe. Okay, that's actually really good too. I like that. Okay. I really like that actually. Yeah, heck yeah. Uh, that's on my gallon, I'm pretty sure. So, um, might have to really look into ranking that relic up now. That would, could really increase my prestige. So, that's actually really good. I'm a big fan of that. Thor... It's like my second favorite Marvel character at this point, so that's awesome. Behind Spider-Man, of course. All right, let's open up a couple of these Mythic Nexus Crystals. These are really, I think these are gonna be like the only deals that I buy now going forward of the daily deals. Um, I was stocking up on them for a little while. Ooh, that's a six star. Um, but yeah, now I don't really see the point on most days, except for the Sunday. Since you get two, and you also get um, one of those level three revives. So I think the Sunday deal is, is pretty decent value. I think I'm going to keep, continue to pick those up. But other than that, I think I'm done buying these daily deals. All right, one more of these bad boys. And... Ooh, six-star kingpin. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure. Those sigs don't really do anything. Um, it's, it's pretty much sig 65 or sig 200. You don't... There's no need to be in betweens, but uh, I'll, I'll take the seven star shards all day long and get them closer to Sig 200, which I'll probably have him there someday. So yeah, that's that's fantastic. Okay. Uh, is that going to do for the crystal opening part? Oh yeah, we got that bank with crystal. We'll circle back to that. Some golden crystals. I think I'll hold on to those for now. And yeah, let's just wait. Are those Nexus calves? Let's pop these real quick. Uh, five star Shurgy. Sure. Okay. It's loading. Next one. Uh, sure. Let's get some more Kingpin. It's Kingpin day. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, <clears throat> let's open up this guy here. And let's see what we get. Six star Jessica Jones. Nope. <laughs> oh, a skill ISO to, to, to rank up a, a skill champion. That's, that's fantastic. Nice. Tier five basic, not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, if I show you guys the catalyst overflow, don't, don't really need those. This was just cause I opened up like 40 daily crystals. Probably shouldn't have done that when I didn't need to. But, uh, okay. I think that's going to do it for the crystal opening part of this video. Now, now let me see. Let's do a rank up here. So, I'm gonna, let's use some of those catalysts. Um, okay. So, we're at... So, yeah. We can take one champ to rank four right now. And then we're well on our way to taking up another champ to rank four. But still a ways off. I think if I got the... I think I have two more purchases on this deal i've just been doing the objectives every day and buying one each time um i love this deal it's incredible yeah i think i can get it the final two times we another rank four but okay so i do have a rank four in mind right now it's going to be of the mutant class so i just clear that out get some fresh mutant stuff i've been claiming mutant iso as well from the objectives uh, every time i do it so it's been a nice cycle of preparing for this moment so let's go ahead and get to the mutants. I'm gonna put it to rank threes. So it is gonna be one of these mutants going up to rank four today. And this this first rank up is is meant to be well actually there's there's two. Two of these mutants are going up to rank four. It's gonna be my next rank fours. Uh the first one I, the one I want to prioritize is a defensive one. And there's there's a I say five mutants that really stand out here for defensively, mainly defensive purposes, and that's Havoc, Toad, Sauron, Nightcrawler, 
and weapon flex, I'd say. Uh, and I'm going to be going with weapon flex because he's cool, he's a trophy, and I feel like he can be the best of the bunch. He can be the most punishing. Uh, but the problem is, having him at rank 3, he just kind of can get mowed over. And even if he does punish, it's not nearly as severe. That's why I really want to get him up to rank 4, so that if my opponent slips up and he catches them, it's, it's going to be just all the more punishing. And he's going to have more health, so he's going to be even harder to take down as well. So yeah, going to be going with Weapon Flex here. Just strengthening my Battlegrounds deck even more. Which is uh, what we love to see. That's what's very important to me, having strongest deck that i possibly can that's what i that's what i make a lot of my decisions upon uh, is the strength of my battlegrounds deck do i want this new champion well are they going to be going to my battlegrounds deck am i going to be using them on offense am i going to be using them on defense how good of a defender are they um just that's mainly what i think about when it comes to new champs it's just battlegrounds 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 how are they going to do what meta are they going to excel in um and yeah weapon flex this guy I love this guy. I got him from initially the 6.2 Legends run, uh, placing like top 40. I think it was top 40 that got him. I think it was top 20 for 6.1. And then I think top 40 for 6.2. And I think top 60 for 6.3 or something like that. Um, and then, yeah, I duped him in 6.3. So, yeah, just uh, it feels really good to have earned this champion, you know? And that that's like... That's what I really like to see with Jessica. I, I could have bought her. I I haven't yet. Uh, I don't think I'm going to. There's a, a day and 18 hours left on these deals still. So I could technically. But I'm getting a lot of thought. And uh, I, I could buy her. And it would make a lot of sense too. Because it would really strengthen my Battlegrounds deck. I'd say that's the one of the absolute best defenders in the game that I'm missing in my Battlegrounds deck. But I would feel so much better if i was able to earn jessica in some way if maybe an 8.3 they bring back the legend runs um I, I don't i know a lot of you guys a lot of the community was really frustrated with the cheaters and the modding and battlegrounds especially and alliance war but kabam has been very on top of it lately they've been doing a lot more banning a recent ban wave just went out uh, i haven't heard a lot of people talking about it as much uh, but they've been doing a better job, and my hope with that is that we can see the Legend runs and the Mythic runs return, because that content is a lot of fun, and it's so much more, it just means so much more to me when I'm able to work hard and earn a character than just open up my wallet and buy them, you know? So, yeah, really hope to see that a return of that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all that. Let me know what you guys thought of this opening and uh yeah the shiny new rank four weapon flex i love this guy i've had him for a very long time one of the first people to ever get him and uh i love him he's just a really cool champ he's actually decent on offense as well i have to get some gameplay for you guys i also recently just took up another rank four uh four defense i'm really trying to bolster my defenses right now so i think i'll do maybe a double feature um of weapon x and this other nameless champion i get some gameplay I put them both together two sick rank fours for defense to bolster my defenses in battlegrounds that's gonna do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed let me know where you guys ended up this war season and if you got anything good from your war rewards did you pull a champion you're after did you get kabammed let me know in the comments thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you want to see more content hit the little bell if you want to be notified when i go live we're going to be streaming more battlegrounds this season and more 8.2 itemless as well thank you guys so much for watching uh can't wait to finish 8.2 get that skill callus and get a skill rank five what do you guys think it's gonna be peace out